The Mission House by Karis Davis, published by Granta, and uh, this is set in an Indian hill station in Tamil Nadu called Uti, uh, which is now known as Udaga Mandalam. And it has also been voted this year as the novel of the year by the Sunday Times 2020. Mr. Hilary Bird from Pets Wood has come to Uti to seek some um, psychological rejuvenation. He's looking for a simple life so he can just think and be. And so he um, finds accommodation in the mission house of the local presbytery. And he's looked after by the Padre and the Padre's adopted daughter, Priscilla, who is a Toda woman. And the Toda people were the people who were living in this area before the people from Britain under the Raj came and started rebuilding it um, in a very British style. So, you know, there was a rose garden, um, there is a botanical garden, a man-made lake, and in order to get there, you have to take this tiny ratchet train up from the plains, and it's 29 miles, and it can take five hours or so to travel up, and three and a half hours to travel back down. Um, there are still marks of um, British India there, um, and it is a, still a very interesting place. In fact, the reason, one of the reasons I was attracted to this book was because this time last year I was actually there. And it is, um, it has such a British feel still. There is the chaos and the beauty of India, um, but you can tell the British have left their mark there. He finds himself a regular driver and each day Jamshed um, takes him in his auto rickshaw around the city, maybe to the lake, perhaps to the tea plantations, to the local bookshop, which still has a British name, and um, maybe to get one or two British things like Hartley's raspberry jam. He starts cooking with both the Padre and with Priscilla. They make scones, they make meringues. I think a Victoria sponge cake is also mentioned. So it is a very gentle story of someone just looking, imbibing his environment. Um, the author does look a little bit at disability because Priscilla has her own disabilities. Um, she looks at the um, knock-on effects of colonialism. Um, she looks at India too and um, it is a very gentle, uh, slow-paced book. It's very thoughtful um, and it totally took me back to Uti and to my own trip there. And for me, I found it to be perfect literary wonderlust. It is um, it's beautifully written, I have to say. So I think if you're looking for something um, quite engaging. Uh, it does become a little bit repetitive because his journeys are much the same. It's not that big a place. Um, but, you know, there is some really um, good writing, some interesting storytelling. So I think if you want something that will transport you hook, line and sinker to India and specifically to Uti, then The Mission House by Karis Davis is certainly one to pick up.